there travelers, today I will be giving you an overview of the most upscale Marriott Vacation Club in Orlando, Florida, the Marriott Lakeshore Reserve. If you have stayed at this resort in the past, you may find that your next visit offers even more bang for your buck, since it will be undergoing major refurbishments. The hotel lobby is peaceful, well-staffed, and relaxing. You can expect a hassle-free check-in since this is a small property. If you are staying in a standard condo, we recommend the Messina building located adjacent to the pool. There are a number of quiet, well-landscaped public spaces that connect the lobby to the pool and games area. There is one pool area at the resort. The main entrance is a beach-style zero-degree entry. Here you will typically find people chatting on inner tubes and playing games. There is a moderately sized hot tub located next to the entrance and a pair of water slides that empty into their own small pool. Complimentary cabanas are also available for your use near the entrance of the pool. Unlike many vacation clubs in the area, towels are still available at the pool area. You do not need to bring them from the room. Two waterways branch out from the entrance to create the slow moving Lazy River. The Lazy River is surrounded by lush foliage, tropical flowers, and includes spouting water features. The last section of the Lazy River is wider than the rest. This is where the aqua fit classes take place and where guests are most likely to be swimming. There is a nice view of the lake from this section. At the center of the Lazy River is a large island. This is one of my favorite features at the resort, especially in the warmer months when the flowers are in bloom. It really helps to distinguish the Lakeshore Reserve from other club properties. It is even more tropical than the rest of the resort. Guests can enter and exit the island from the water, and there are also two bridges connecting the mainland to the island. There's a small hot tub, large water fountain, and plenty of seating here. Back on land and next to the pool, there is a well-maintained lawn and games area. We enjoyed shuffleboard, cornhole, bocce ball, ping pong, and billiards. This is also where the activity staff set up their events. The staff here really get to know their guests and sometimes will participate in the activities with the guests. I think this again has a lot to do with the resort's small size and the guest demographics. You won't find a ton of toddlers at the Marriott Lakeshore Reserve. Many groups consist of multi-generational families and adult couples. Guests seem to have more time to relax and chat with staff and others around them. There are plenty of activities to entertain all. My kids participated in the Sunday bar, tie-dye t-shirts, and the foam party. The gated park area is next to the lawn and is the nicest club playground I have ever seen. There are at least nine slides and it is appropriate for a variety of ages. The Marketplace and Blossoms Bar and Grill are located next to the games area as well. They are standard for Marriott, and again, you won't wait long for your order at either. We stayed in a two-bedroom lock-off on the ground floor of the Messina building. The rooms are spacious and well-decorated with a larger-than-usual kitchen that included space to store groceries. The primary bedroom was standard Marriott with a comfortable king bed, a private patio, and a large bathroom with a double sink, bath, and large shower. The secondary bedroom was again a king bed with a pull-out sofa. It had another patio, kitchenette, and an adequate bath with a single sink. I'm glad that we requested a ground floor room for easy access to the pool, but there were definitely more bugs on the patio than I had expected due to the moisture and shady condition. The resort has a number of different room configurations, including tout houses, although I have heard guests complain that these units were too narrow and did not offer a first floor bedroom. The hotel has a large, fully equipped gym, complete with a variety of machines and free weights. The business center is located above the lobby and was equipped with two computers and a reliable printer. Another lesser known amenity is the resort's access to the adjacent JW and Ritz-Carlton resorts. Lakeshore Resort guests are granted access to all facilities at these resorts Monday through Thursday. The three resorts are all connected by a beautiful walking path. The JW is huge and beginning July 2022 will feature a water slide tower, refurbished lazy river, volleyball, and ropes course. The Ritz is located farther along the path and features exceptional service and dining options. 
We stopped by one morning and were immediately greeted by an eager staff member preparing to set up our lounge chairs and pool service amenities. I hope this overview was helpful. Please click on the video linked on your screen to view my review of this resort. I will share my favorite parts of our stay and also let you know about a few things that I didn't love about the Lakeshore Reserve. If you still don't know which resort to choose, check out the other video shown where I break down which Marriott Vacation Club is best for your next trip. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to see more travel overviews, reviews, and money saving tips. Thanks for watching.